This is the one-timers here, uh, Matt on the phone from Minneapolis, Justin here in Lyme, Ohio. We talked about Group A, Group B, let's get down to Group C. A very tough group here because I, there's so many different styles of play with these countries that are in here. You got Colombia, Greece, Ivory Coast, and Japan. What do you make of this group, Matt? It's definitely wide open. Yeah. Oh my, it's so wide open. I mean, it's really, it's just, I mean, looking at it from that first glance, you probably would have went to Columbia because they got a lot of talent. And they, they're, they're electric at times on offense. But then, I believe one of their best players, I, I, I don't know if it's Fal 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 Falco. Falco. Falco, yeah. He's, he, he's uh, out, isn't he? Yeah, I think he had a knee injury. And he's not going to be able to make the tournament. So, um, he's one of the players I'm most familiar with on their team. Yeah. That definitely makes it hard. Uh, I mean, Greece. Greece is one of the most disciplined teams. It's really, you got to make sure you break them down. It's one of the hardest things to do. Take patience. Mm -hmm. And they're big and strong at the back. And they counter well on set pieces. Yeah. Ivory Coast. Drogba's made big, had big time goal. I always, I think a Drogba, I think of his goal against Bayern Munich, I believe it was the last 10 minutes. Of yeah. One of the most powerful headers I've seen ever. A little rocket was head into the goal. And then Japan, I mean, Japan just, I believe, what is that? 0-2, and they made that magic run as co-hosts, and yeah. uh, I think they got third place, so, I mean, they, they didn't really surprise people, I don't know, I don't know what to make of it, honestly, I think you go a lot different ways. Yeah, I, I mean, it really is a wide open group, um, I, initially, I really think I had Columbia to win it, but without Falco, you know, it's kind of, it's, I mean, not to say that one player can really dictate what's going to happen, um, but... I'm starting to look at these other teams, and, and really, you know, it's it's one of those senses where with Ivory Coast, they got Drogba, and without Columbia having Falco, I, I feel like Ivory Coast now is a little bit better of a shot. I, 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 and I think Greece, the thing I love about Greece is, they're, like you said, they're a very disciplined team. They put a lot of numbers behind the ball. Um, they defend fantastically, but it's not like they don't score. You know, they got... They really only have like two guys, but they get all the goals. They find ways to get goals in big time situations. So you, you know you're you're frustrated the whole time. You can't get a goal, and then they counter that one time and put one past you, and now you're down one nil. You know, the final five ten minutes, and you're even more frantic. But it's such a disciplined team that it's very tough to score against Greece. Uh, Japan, obviously, you can't sleep on on the Japanese. That's a, a very good team. They they are. If I remember correctly, in Asian qualifying, they really were just a, above everybody. They they took a care of business very fast, uh, unlike the Socceroos. But I, you know, it's tough for me to say this. I I don't know. You know, it's you almost want to give that fact that Colombia is on the home continent. You feel like they have to play really well. Um, but then again, you only had I, I believe one team out of the five from Africa that actually made it to the the. Uh, the knockout phase with with Ghana, with having that home continent, you know. So I don't really know if you can buy into the home continent. Uh, it, this is very tough for me. Uh, I want to hear what you got first, and then we'll, we'll see if uh, I'm toying with things in my mind. <laughs> uh, I uh, the first group, first game is Colombia versus Greece. You're real telling. I, I think uh, it can be interesting to see. I can see it going two ways. I can see Columbia getting frustrated, having a lot of possession with no really good chances, mm -hmm. and end up giving up like a goal off three shots from Greece. Um, but or I could also see Greece getting. I can see eleven Greece Greek guys sweating profusely because they're getting past the death by Colombia, and they can't keep with them. So uh, I, I I I can see it going both ways. I. I I, to some extent, I, I think Columbia, I, I, I'm a fan of how Greece plays. I like their discipline, and I like teams that play defense first and they come out. But I think that game is the most telling, and I think Columbia will really uh, open Greece up with their speed and how dynamic they are. So I think, I, I think, they'll, do, I think they'll win that game and take control of the group early and start to really, really, uh, I think one, one thing that I think is, Kind of answering with the World Cup more than most sports. I, I don't. There's no real. There's no real group play in any of the sports that I'm aware of. So more compared to like a uh, an NCAA tournament or a 
or a playoff, you kind of teams kind of gain confidence, I think, and really, uh, really, they really do well in the first game and really make the, the wonders for them. So I think Columbia wins a close game first race, wins the group, and I, I, I even close. I think they have some special players. A lot of guys who I don't know. They, guys that. Um, the guy, was the guy from Arsenal? Yeah, they got Gervinho. Gervinho. Yep. He, he's a good player. He, he looked, uh, shout out to Nicholas Claypool. I think Arsenal's yep. so he was listening to the podcast. But uh, he really impressed me at the FA Cup, I remember. Uh, he, he, was, he was one of their better players. And, I mean, Drogba, I mean, he kind of reminds me of a Ray Lewis type guy. He just uh, wins every 50-50 ball. He, he does things that nobody else can do. So I, I think I think it's going to be Columbia and, and then Ivory Coast. But it's definitely going to be highly contested. And like you said, a very diverse style of soccer being played in this group. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, after toying with it, I think I will agree with you on Columbia. Um, I think that, you know, they could probably get get past the injury to Falco and still, I obviously, do very well. Um I th- I think uh, it's so tough for me because this Greece and Ivory Coast matchup I think it go either way. I mean, the thing the, obviously I just watched uh, Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina play Ivory Coast. Now Ivory Coast didn't have Drogba um, or Jervinho in, and obviously Jervinho is very good on the back line. But that back line of the guys that was in for Ivory Coast. I mean, they just were getting tore up by, by Checo and, and, and the other Bosnian players. They almost seemed kind of, not like clueless, but they were just out of position really bad. Now, I don't know if that's the exact lineup, you know, at Jovino that they're going to play with. But to me, I feel like if, if you know, if they're going to be really confused, especially on those just very few moments that Greece has, I, I, don't, I you know, I, I think I might take the Greeks uh, to – to at least play to the points. I think this is a group that we might see a lot of draws in, um, especially obviously because Greece is in it. But I, I think I, I think I'm going to take Colombia. I think I'm going to take Greece. I think I think if, especially because, in my opinion, I think Colombia and Greece could very well tie that first game, um, and then it comes down to the next game with Colombia and, and Ivory Coast. And if Colombia wins that, that's really going to propel them in a good position. Obviously, they'll have in Japan, but I think. Um, in that sense, if Greece can beat Japan, they just have to get a draw against uh, uh, Ivory Coast, and that'd be enough. So I'm, I'm going to take Colombia and, and Greece in this one. That'll be a fun group. I think the Greeks can find goals. I think the Greeks style, they really got to sit back, and if they can score in a few opportunities, they're definitely a dangerous team. It takes a lot of veteran presence to beat, so it should be a fun group, definitely. Absolutely. So I'm taking Colombia and Greece. And you got Columbia and Ivory Coast. We'll take a look at Group D in just a moment. 